Hey, welcome back, my royal reefers. You are the kings and the queens of this hobby, so don't settle for less and just be the best. Today, I got some terrible breaking news. My yellow eye cold saying died today. The cause of his death was that my blue jaw trigger fish chased him to death. So mad at that fish right now. So my dad called me and he told me that my yellow eye cold tang is dead. I was like, no, I almost broke down to tears. I'm not going to lie. And I will admit it is kind of my fault because I left two fish, a semi-aggressive fish and a peaceful fish in an aquarium for longer than two weeks. That's, I should have added a new fish before I left to to visit my family but I didn't and I wish I did but regardless when I get home and that trigger fish is still in the tank I am going to take him out I'm going to trade him in and get me another yellow eye coal tang or a, a bristle tooth well you know a tang in that same genus as a yellow eye coal tang I'm, I'm not picky but but definitely something in that nature and i'm going to go back with my original stock list which was either one or three tangs one or one or a pair or five wrasses and then a pair of clowns some like awesome designer clowns i'll have to find something like that around but the clowns will be probably one of the last fish i add but this tank will be this tank will now be only tanks and rasses and probably a blenny maybe a govi or i can finally put my i can do a pistol shrimp and goby pair in there without a trigger in there so the, the stock list for that tank is going to change dramatically um and Basically, yeah, just know it's going to change and I will be making a video of when I go pick up those fish and when I take the trigger fish to the store. I hate to take them in, but I have to. I have to make this the perfect tank before I go off to college. That being said, I just know he's done for. Uh, there's... Uh, only way I will have a trigger fish again in a, any of my systems would be if I have 150 gallon plus tank. I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but since it's a bigger tank, they do grow big, like 12 inches big. That's really big. But uh, I learned my lesson on the, that fish. As I learned my lesson with hippos and soft like eels and groupers. I, I'm done with those the type of fish. So I'll leave those for the big tank guys. I just wanted to try it. And I tried it and it failed. And now I'm getting a chance again to to actually put in place the stock list I planned for. Which is why I have such a, a decent deep sand bed for the wrasses to barrel in. And I have a lot of surface area of rocks for it to grow algae for the tangs. It's 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 just another way. It's just an impulsive buy. Basically, what I'm trying to say: the trigger fish was an impulsive buy. And as of right now, I'm done with impulsive buys. No more fish stores trying to persuade me to buy a fish, which I know I cannot keep. And that's also my fault too, because I convinced my dad, I gave my dad puppy eyes to buy me that fish. So I apologize to him and I apologize to any other reefers who might think, holy crap, dude, you are like stupid or something to buy a trigger fish and put it in a 65. I know, I, I take, I admit everything, take it all on me. I'm sorry, Paul, hopefully you accept the apology. So on a happier note, Thank you so much. Almost at 40 subscribers. Just, I'm going to make another video, like, 
right after this one about about my subscribers and stuff so make sure you be you stay tuned for that and drop a like leave a positive comment and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already press the notification bell make sure it's on so you are up to date to whenever i i upload a video but for sure at least one video once a week is what i'm promising y'all and that is what i'm doing so until next time happy reefing my royals peace